Let's have a look at another example of one-dimensional unit conversions. Okay, so we're going to look at converting 2.48 gigajoules into millijoules. Now, you may not have heard of the unit joules before. Right? It's an energy unit. Um, you'll run into it quite a bit next year and the year after, depending on what courses you take. Um, the important part from this really is the relationship between the capital G and the lowercase m, so the giga and the milli. Those prefixes tell us the relationship uh, between the, uh, the two different units that we're going to convert. So we can see the value giga tells us that there would be one billion joules in a gigajoule, while there would be um, 0 0.001 of a joule in a millijoule. So you can see over on the right hand side of the screen here that basically one gigajoule is equal to one trillion millijoules. Then we figure that out by saying what's the difference between 10 to the power of 9 and 10 to the power of negative 3. We see that there's a difference of 10 to the power of 12. What that tells me is that one gigajoule is equal one times 10 to the power of 12 millijoules. So even though I wasn't necessarily provided that conversion factor initially, I was able to use that prefix table to, to build a conversion factor myself. So I set up a unit conversion problem just as I had done before. I take 2.48 gigajoules, I multiply it by 10 to the 12 millijoules over gigajoules, the gigajoules units divide out. I then take 2.48 and I multiply it by 10 to the power of 12. The only unit remaining here is millijoules, so whatever numerical answer I get must be the value of this energy quantity in millijoules.